What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I guess despite all of our blue-green drafts, we're going to take this Oko, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and now we're getting past... I'm sorry, this just in. We're getting past a Mox Pearl. Hmm. Okay. I will take uh, a Mox Pearl... After my first pick, Oko. For sure, I'll do that. I said Pearl twice. I meant Sapphire. I don't know why I said Pearl. It's It was clearly a Sapphire, which was the, the reason that it was so perfect. But I kept saying Pearl. And I don't know why. Either way, it's a good start. <sighs> Consecrated Sphinx. Also, Fractured Identity. You're the Pearl. You are. Okay, so Fractured Identity or Consecrated Sphinx. Consecrated Sphinx is in our color, and Fractured Identity should be in our color. I think it's Fractured Identity. Fractured Identity is like bananas. These two are just so head and shoulders above so many cards in this in this set, or in this in this format. This pack's pretty unexciting, unfortunately. This is almost trash. I might just take Batter Skull in case we hit a uh, Stoneforge Mystic. None of these other cards are great if we're Bant. But a lot of times I'll see a Batter Skull and then I'll pass it and then I'll eventually see a Stoneforge and I'll wish I took it. Battleball's decent, but I'm just like not in a seven mana mood right now. <sighs> mm. These are two premier six drops. I think we're definitely taking Primeval Titan. We want to be base blue white because Oko is our blue blue green because Oko is significantly earlier than Fracture Identity. I mean, if we can get a Factor Fiction at the table, that would be gas, but that seems ambitious. Oh, I like Ancestral Recall. Just kidding. It's just Treasure Cruise. Could just be Kitchen things here. This pack's not very exciting. Pod is, is rarely exciting and we only have a six drop. Like, it's so hard to make pod work. I think also think Kitchen Fix is better than probably Elder and Treasure Cruise. I'll take Finks. Golos. You know who loves a Golos? You know. I'm taking Golos here. Uh, I don't want to play Wasteland in a three color deck. It's probably the last thing I want to be doing, unfortunately. There's so many five, five mana cards here. Nissa's fantastic. And Time Warp is good. My dad. <laughs> Chris, does your dad want me playing Golos? Can he do that? I mean, it's either Time Warp or Banishing Light. I don't think it's Nissa for our deck. I don't know how many forests we're going to have. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because I think it's actually not Nissa. I think Nissa's great on her own, but like... I don't know how many actual forests we're going to have. I'm taking Time Warp. Oh, or I'm, I guess I'm just taking Thassa's Oracle. Even though I double-clicked on the card, I guess. That's that's good. I didn't really want any of them, to be honest. <laughs> oh, Fraley's is actually pretty sweet. Hey, every time I see this, I'm like... Uh, huh? Why? Why? 
take a Johnny Vengeance just in case. It's okay, guys. We didn't want a time warp anyway. It was all a ruse. Birthing pod. Oh, if there's gonna be a time walk in pack two, then I'm then I just I just save myself some heartache, you know. Cause I've got heartache by the no this actually seems like an Omnath deck. All we have to do is splash the red, and we can already do that with a, with a Johnny Vention as well. Plus we have Golos and Primeval Titan to put lands into play. I kind of want to take this Omnath here. And hopefully Carry Added or Devoted Druid comes back. Maybe this would have tabled. I mean, we're definitely taking Oracle. Yeah, this is looking decent. I give it a deece to deece plus. What about deece nuts? I give it a good old deece nuts. Oh, uh, Grim Monolith. Also Boros Signet. I think it's Grim Monolith. Look at Batterskull, Primeval Titan, Golos. Yeah, this is... We're going to Monolith here. Yeah, I mean, if we're playing the Omnath, a Johnny could definitely get in. We could also just splash it off of, like, Primeval Titan or Golos. Razor Verge and Mox Sapphire also nice. God, I love our fellows, but not here, buddy. Not here. Um. Nah. I mean, Wandering Fumeral is kind of meh. I really don't want another five drop, and we're definitely. I don't think we're a plow under deck. I mean, I'm leaning more towards, like, Inferno Titan or Sun Titan here, especially with Oko and Grimana. Like, I think actually Sun Titan's pretty good here. My snake got sent a message by the CDC today? Jesus, that sounds terrifying. Vindicate's great, but it's not black. Winds of Abandon is actually fine. Wall of Roots is also pretty sweet. Hmm. I kind of like Winds of Abandon here. Yeah, Wall lets you play second turn Oracle. Sure. I like a goose. This Jace has also been pretty sweet to see in action. I want to put Batter Skull over here until we actually have a card for it. I mean, Pilgrim fixes, so does Goose, though. Um... Take Goose. Prismatic Vista? Eh, it's actually fine. Oh, Temple Garden. That's great. Oh, Cultivate, though. Cultivate might be the pick. Interesting. Yeah, I think I like... With, with these two, I think I like Cultivate, because you can go turn two Cultivate. Sylvan Carry added came back. That's great for us. Wow. 
Vista. It's everywhere you want to be. Wow. Rexage? Probably better than Faith Fetters here. Sure. Elspeth seems okay here. Sword is also fine, but like without... I think I like Elspeth better here. Without Stoneforge, I'm not super high on enchantment or uh, equipment right now. Man, we have one, two, four Planeswalkers right now. Boy. And Omnath's kind of like a Planeswalker. Man. Time Warp would have been nice. Wow, that... That is awkwardly late Rafellos. Wow. I don't even know what to make of that. Yeah, I'll take wins. It's insane. Hissing Quagmire is actually not bad because we can actually put it in the deck to splash off of Golos for the Black Source. I mean, I don't even have a problem playing Rafelos, really. Like, the thing you want to keep in mind is that, like, if Rafelos can tap for even one or two mana, it's still just fine. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take the other mocks. You pulled my finger. I would really like Teferi to come back, or Control Magic, but I'm just going to take the other Mox. That's pretty cool. Maybe someone can pass me a Black Lotus. That would be nice. Well, I don't know. There's a better card for my deck. There there was a chattel, so I passed the Black Lotus. Pay it forward and pass it? I'm not going to do that. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm just not. God, no fixing lands. Fat Idiot Ulamog. Also Blightsteel. We just passed a Tinker. So whoever, whoever we're passing to is also going to get a blight steal. But I think Ulamog might even just be playable. Like we have Cultivate, Rafelos. Like we're actually a, <laughs> like as far as ramp goes, like geez, we're actually doing quite well. All of these cards ramp us in some capacity, which is pretty insane. Oh, Omnath as well. Geez. I think it's Ulamog. Arbor Elf isn't great because I have no idea how many forests we're going to have. Well, this Ulamog doesn't deal with mill. He doesn't shuffle himself. Oh, by milling them faster? <laughs> I feel like you I feel like you actually thought this was the only Ulamog that shuffled in, but then you try to like you try to like save it, you're like, by milling them faster. You're like, dang it, that's the wrong Ulamog. Hold on, I gotta save face. Don't help me. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I was like, Cause I was like, when you that's not I'm like, that's not how you say it though. See, Bird of Paradise is a good turn one play. Course of Portal is pretty sweet. 
It deals in mill. That's true. Rakdos Signet. I wish it wasn't a black Signet. Because it's just a card you can't cast Omnath off of, you know? Scarab God would be sweet. I think it's just Bird. Oh, it actually could be Chorus of Portal. I feel like Chorus of Portal is real good here. I got leftover. I had a piece of a piece of chicken stuck in my teeth. <sighs> Portak is fine. I'm gonna take Portal. I think Portal's very strong. Plus, we have a lot of ways to play it on like turn three. Oh, oh, two on color signets. Oh, he's excited. Oh, he's excited. Which one is beta? So the funny thing is, we're splashing one blue card, two blue cards. One red white card. So we have two extra blue sources, two extra white sources, one extra red source. I think it's Azorius Signet. Because it helps us with Elspeth. Yeah, let's take the Azorius Signet. Oh wow, Noble Hierarch is great. So is Knight of Autumn. I mean, I would just straight up replace Rex Sage with Knight of Autumn. Tireless Tracker, also fine. We have two double white cards? Oh, Sun Titan 2. I'm take Kitchen things out, I just don't care. I think it's actually Hierarch. Even if Hierarch like, replaces Land of War Elves, like, tapping for... Cat Black. Missing Quagmire. You know what? Like, uh, hmm. I didn't have it in me. I didn't have it in me to pass that card. I'm sorry. I didn't have it in me. Ren and six is cute. We have no fetch lands right now. So I'm actually just going to take Eternal Witness because this is just great. Bayou's good. Bayou's real good. It comes into play untapped. We can search for it with Golos. Yeah, we're taking the Bayou. This is so weird, dude. Why is this guy's cradle tabling? Why is the Tinker tabling? I'm taking Tinker and let's see if that Blight Steel comes back. I don't know if it was in this pack. It might have been the next pack. I think it was in this pack, but. I actually do like Condemn. It deals with Eldrazi and it deals with, uh, like, Blight Steel, right? So. <laughs> Scarab God? Sure, I'll take Scarab God. Next Stringer is actually fine. Shadow Skull Smashing, we're probably never going to be able to cast. Knight of Autumn? Wow, that's just a straight up trade. This is a very weird draft. Jeez. I don't think we're playing Rafellos. Double green seems hard. I also don't know if we're playing both of these. God, but they're so good, right? And we just got Bayou and Hissing Quag. And we have Vista too. So we just play like one swamp. Last pick, Renin 6? God, I really tried like a fetch land or two. What are you guys saying over here? What are you guys talking about? Tractors? Like, someone took the Blight Steel, but they didn't take the Tinger. That's kind of weird, right? Oh, what up, Dev? Welcome back. You missed the initial message that was aimed at you. Huh. 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 Get that shit out of here. This is this deck looks wild. Maybe we cut Ulamog. I 
I had pack one, pick one, soul ring, and I had to pack Pesmok Sapphire. Well, I appreciated it. I appreciated it. Have a good draft. I'm off to watch your last up. <laughs> Why are you watching YouTube when I'm live? That's so weird. That's a weird choice. You're like, I don't want to, I don't want to see you live. I just want to watch these old videos. I can see cutting Elspeth. Double White's kind of, I can see cutting Ulamog Elspeth. What if we do that? <laughs> Way to guilt me. It just didn't make sense. I just didn't understand. Fine, I'll stay. Wow, I'm really pulling his leg here. I mean, I do feel like we have enough mana for Ulamog. I don't care about Elspeth, though. Like, we're just playing this now, right? Because we have... With one Swamp, which is what we're going to play. And we're going to play one of these, right? We're going to play one and one. Because now we have Vista, Ruby, Quag, Bayou. So the, for, for red, this is already like one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have like two red cards. And for black, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. You gotta get fresh locally sourced Frank, not that corporate YouTube Frank, it's true. That politics episode from two days ago? Oh, that was probably from like literally uh, election night. Where did the where did the basic lands go? What? Why did they disappear? I literally wanted to keep them up there. That's strange. So we can avoid like I do like that this makes creatures. I mean, it might just cut Lanor Elf because tapping for green is awkward. Or tapping for just green, rather. Plus, we don't have that many green sources. Whereas, like, these guys are worth it because they do tap for, like, if I, even a turn two Noble Hierarch or Guild of Goose is still fine. <sighs> this deck looks sweet. I don't, I don't know. I do like the fact that it makes 1-1s, one and then you can make them fly, and then you can get in there for, like, Fallen Shinobi. Hmm. Might be Fraley's actually. I can see cutting Fraley's. She's not super exciting. Okay, so again, one and one. So blue cards. Well, that's all the colors. Can you paint with all the colors of the... Non-green cards. We're just going to put them over here. And we're just kind of like going to do this by eye. So we get nine basic lands. Down, down. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's actually a good amount of green. I'm okay with seven. Plus we have like... These only count if you have a green already. <laughs> Blue, we have one, two, three, four... No double blue cards. Might want to go to five blue. Plus you have Gilded Goose, Noble Hierarch, Sylvan Carry Out, Azori Signet, Cultivate, right? So like that's a million. White we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's the same. Yeah, let's just do it like this. 15 lands, two moxes. I don't know how this deck's going to be, but it looks like we've got a lot of powerful cards in this deck. Including Grim Monolith, Mox, Mox. Your boy Fallen Shinobi.
Oh, what up, not the plague? Um, this hand doesn't do anything. This hand's a little more exciting. No green, so I'm going to ship the goose. Are you streaming? Uh, keep this ship goosey. Hi, world. <laughs> Alright, we need a green source to get an Omnath. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Oh, give me that green. Dang it. We're going to draw Knight of Autumn? That sucks ass. <laughs> Ugh, crying out loud. Well, Goblin Guide, it's not gonna, it's, the problem is the Goblin Guide doesn't, it's it's misleadingly not helpful, right? Because you think like it's going to help you draw lands, but it's not because the lands are already on top of your deck anyway. Well, that's pretty good. Second green source? No, just the one green source. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can't play anything here. Knight of Autumn into Sun Titan. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is actually fine right now. We also have Knight of Autumn to kill the Jitte and block, but I guess they're gonna. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Not ideal. <laughs> I mean, if we don't block, they just kill it, right? So, okay. So, you know, like we take six plus whatever they're else they're attacking with. Stone Coil Serpent. No blocks. Oh, wow, they didn't, oh, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's definitely like one, two, three, four, five. It's just these two, right? That's all we can do, really. I guess we can Oracle play two lands. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, we do lose the Oracle, but if there's lands on top, it's just great. Just make sure to play Vista last, otherwise we give them a an opportunity land I mean this is nice because next turn we get to Sun Titan and get back we get to Sun Titan and get back Night of Autumn which is pretty great I mean, assuming they don't play Hellrider. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. We go to two. We know we're going to draw Fallen Shinobi. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything. Seven, we have eight mana. So we can actually play Wall of Roots and Sun Titan without actually taking damage from that. It seems okay. One, two. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, Wall of Roots. Don't bring me down. Yes. Gain four. Okay, that was helpful. <laughs> I don't even have a problem with like bouncing our own Sun Titan to Fallen Shinobi. That seems okay. Yeah, Jitte's a hell of a card for sure. That's fine. That is not a concern. Don't be land. Oko, no Joko. One, 
two, three, four, five. So here we can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess we didn't even need to crack that, but eh, still get the lamp back. I mean, I'm trying to primeval Titan Noko this turn. As a friend, can you do me a huge favor? Never say Oko no Joko ever again. Wow, is this how you're going to be? Oh, they didn't block. Okay. I think they just scooped. <laughs> Land Abbot of Curl Keep Scarab God go. <laughs> okay, we're definitely bringing Kitchen Finks and Rex Sage. Both of these are good. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Fallen Shinobi is probably not great here. Neither is Scarab God, which were two black cards, interestingly enough. So we can actually add another forest, take out this, and we'll take out Quagmire for probably another white source. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just add one more white source. Ren and Six could be decent. So could Condemn, actually. I do kind of like a Condemn. Let's take out Ulamog and bring in Condemn. I think Condemn is probably better than Ren and Six here. Just because, like, I don't want to I don't want to stress our mana base for the red mana too much. Sounds pretty good. Omnath. Eternal Witness. One, two, three, four. Grim Monolith. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's good. This is a good time. This is a deck right here, my dudes. Omnath. Don't you ever not be an Omnath again. Let's crack this for like a white, I guess. What land are we getting? We'll get a Razor Verge. No. All of our lands are green. That's weird. I'm going to get a red because we do have... Oh, no, we have red. We have this. We can get a black. Yeah, we'll just get a white here. So now we can go... Wall of Roots... Golos. And what are we getting? Bayou. Now we have all the colors of the wind. One, two, three, four. We get to untap with five mana. Four, five, six. We're one man away from just activating Golos. That's sad. I'm just going to Noble Hierarch. If they want to kill it, that's fine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to play Coercive Portal. No blue. What are you talking about?
not attacking here because they have two cards and like I don't feel like letting my shields down for a I mean because the thing is both these guys have uh interesting uh no I will not pay double red as you can imagine because I don't I don't have that I mean we get a turn one one two three for eternal witness then one two three four and we're definitely just blocking this guy I mean, because they have to use the two counters on Golos, so. No blue, we, also, we still had Noble Hierarch. I mean, I guess they could kill it. I mean, I do feel like Course of Portal puts us in really great shape. Oh. That's fascinating. If we hit any land, we just get to activate Golos. Golosio. One, two, three, four, five, six, but only one white. Oh, they just gained two instead of just killing my guy? That's wild. I mean, this is a situation where I'm just literally getting back Vista. Oh, that's just draw two. That's nice. Okay. So you have no cards up. So, Sun Titan, actually, if we get this in the graveyard, Sun Titan just kills this. We could also activate your boy. God, we're just, like, so far ahead here. We're going to draw an Omnath. Are you ready? Maybe just Golos. Where's Golos thing? I mean, Sun Titan's really good here, but... I mean, it's Golos, right? Oh, I told you we'd hit an Omnath! Oh, baby. I obviously meant this turn, duh. Sure, I'll take two. So what I got, two mana left? We could play Goose, no we can't. We're just gonna pass here. Okay. Oh man, Sun Titan getting back Vista. Shut up and take what is this? Money. Is this just like Fireball for a thousand? What is happening right now? Oh, one spin the Golos book. Nice. This is interesting. Eight mana. Are they just... That's pretty good. That's amazingly good, actually. This is still fine, right? Block. 
here. Does it take four? I mean, I'm just gonna block here because I'd rather not take damage from next turn. We have a bunch of things we can play. Oh, oh, okay. I thought they just for some reason I thought they conceded. I was like, oh, did they just scoop? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sun Titan. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can go to fourteen here. They have no cards in hand. Let's not be super ridiculous. And we get to draw two, so it's like... Mm. Oh, it's all happening. Wait, what am I waiting for? I mean, I was going to get Eternal Witness and then get back Oko, or Omnath rather, and then just play Oko this turn. Seems fine. All right, let's try again. Welcome back, my sweet summer child. Thank you. Two mana, huh? And lots of... Mm. Yeah, this is, this is better. Oh! Muffin, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. So what are we getting rid of? We're going to play Thicket into Goose on turn one. I think we can get rid of that. You know what? You are one handsome SOB. You know that? I didn't I didn't know that. I appreciate you saying so. Saying so. Saying so. Hmm. Let's play this. Crack it. Let's get an island. No, we have blue here. Let's get a mountain. One, two. Um, again, blue here. Let's get a green and probably a black. We are five color good stuff. Hmm. Can't cast anything here, but that's okay. We can make a food. Oh, I didn't even know you had this. Dang, that's crafty. So tricky. Monster prom. I don't even know what that is. Give me that food. Give me that food. You guys know what time it is? 
Remand time. Okay, dude, you got it. What does competitive dating game mean? What does the competitive part of competitive dating game signify? Okay. Competitive means you are the prize. Is that true? No, they didn't do anything else. The Johnny Vengeant. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just. I think we're just playing Primeval Titan, right? Quagmire Island. I mean, they get another chance. Board State, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. <laughs> okay. What does that do? Oh, they're just both on top. I got it. That's weird because they're all going to go into the into the can. Not a truly interactive hand. They're at nine. I think we're dead. Yep, you got it. You, they're at six now. They didn't even tap three lands, so they don't even net all the mana. Amateurs. Rank amateurs. Okay. Well, now the storm counts up, so that'll do. Six. Okay, so we go to two cards in our deck. And they're at six. Hmm. They targeted themselves. No, they targeted us, but they targeted themselves first. <laughs> okay. How cute. How fucking cute. What if they accidentally target themselves? <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess because they didn't like the top three. Yeah, sure, that's not bad. That's that's actually. Uh, bring in Rex Age, take out Winds, because your creatures don't seem great. Fraley's probably seems better than like. Eh, Scarab God, actually. Would Oracle be good? No, I mean, not really. It doesn't really do anything. It's also a double blue, which we are not. Um, okay. Lotus Bloom every game. Prismatic. This is a problem because we don't have a red source right now, so. But I'm not going to not play this. And if we draw a red source, it's pretty good. Yeah, Corso Portal is also pretty fine. Might as well get in there. Uh, 
that's unfortunate. One, two, three, four. Well, let's see if we're dead. Seems good. Sometimes you just lose to to storm. Like it just happens. If only we had a counter to mill by milling them faster. It's true. I mean, we're just going to fracture identity as Bolas' Citadel right now. That's going to feel pretty sweet. Oh, that's pretty good. God damn. Well, they're probably just going to get Time Spiral here, so that sucks. does not seem hard you just get time spiral frantic search off the top interesting so I have two cards in hand okay they don't have time spiral mana in tomb sure Imperial Seal is... I'm not an Imperial Seal fan. It's just a... It's literally just a slower and vampiric tutor. Oh, goodness. I mean, with Citadel, it's still no... It's still no more nuts than, like, vampiric tutor. Oh, boy. Fun matches. Cool. Okay. If only we had an Ulamog in the deck. But like, you know, the Shuffler one. You're gonna oh okay i was like you're gonna counter this yeah this is literally why i don't have storm in my cube it's great fun for the person who's jerking off themselves but like it's just not it's not a fun experience if you're trying to get together with friends and like draft a cube and like play fun and interactive games it's just not fun to like watch them go off for 20 minutes while you sit there and do nothing like it just doesn't it doesn't cultivate like fun interactive like in a fun interactive environment for a cube draft like at least if like they're channel channel emmerkling on, on turn two like at least you die and the game's over right so instead of like sitting there for 20 minutes being like oh am i dead am i not dead i don't know Get rid of your green sauce. <coughs> Man. 
mana drain. Buddy, I'll just never cast anything ever again. Joke's on you. <laughs> Grim Monolith. You got it. Yeah, we'll just pass here. I'm not going to walk into a mana drain. That's unfortunate. You got it. Tapping out. Huh. Okay. Got the same card back, which is pretty good. Urza. They still have two blue up, which is... Oh, they're just going to use it. Oh, this is just great for us. Oh, wow, this is just fantastic. Prismatic Vista off the top one time would be great. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go Locus, not Fractured Identity, unfortunately. No, wait, we can go Fractured Identity on Urza. So blue, one for white. No, we only have one white. We need two white. I still think it's fractured. They have three cards. I still think it's fractured. I didn't hear it. So. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we should have played the white. I forgot about the stupid mock sapphire. Arr. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five of it for this guy. Yeah, we should have played planes. That was a big mistake, unfortunately. I thought it was a pearl. <laughs> you and me both, buddy. You and me both. Uh, let's go white. Two, three, four, five. Two. So now we have one, two, three, and no second red. So I think that's I think that's the extent of our turn for now. And actually, do you want to attack with this? Because if we can get, I mean, we just have Sun Titan, so. Like I think we could have done it if we just played planes instead, but. It's a very hard mana situation. They played Island first. Interesting. Sure. Mystical Tutor again. I'm going to get that mana drain back that I discarded. How much mana do we have next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana? Eleven mana? Hmm. Hmm. 
chart, of course. That's nowhere near as spicy as mana drain. fascinating. I did not think that was going to resolve. I don't even know if we have any cards that we can get with this thing. Do we? Uh, this is two or less. Cultivate would not work. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Eight mana with this land. I think we're just playing Omnath here. <laughs> okay, I'm under the impression that you're not have a counter spell in counterspell in hand. We got one, two, three, four. Dang it. You're not an artifact, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, her hand is pretty stacked here. You got it. Oh god, here comes the old Eugene. I mean, we have Fracture Identity, I guess. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. They have a lot of mana. They keep playing their land first, which is interesting. It makes me think they have multiple lands in hand. Like, last turn they played land, discarded Thirst for Knowledge. Like, why wouldn't you just keep Thirst and discard the seventh land? A lot of interesting things going on. See, like, this what I mean. Like, you play the land, but then you discard Force of Will. Like, so you have three spells in hand? What the? Is it an X spell? Palancron. Okay. That's not... So now they have 11 mana still. This doesn't... Does this net mana? This doesn't do anything, right? <laughs> what does this do? Oh, do they just have... Br Interesting, okay. Yeah, okay. Just making sure that didn't do anything super relevant. Mm, 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 mm. Ironically, not bad. What are our options here? We can one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six, and five. Hmm. We 
We're just getting this guy off the board right now. They're going to return it. Sure. This is 10. All right. Not bad. We know they have Palancron. The thing is, this doesn't storm. Like, we could cost 11, right? They only have 7, 8, so it's not really like a storm engine. Oh, it still does storm, you're right, but like you have to have either 11 mana or a way to reduce its cost. Otherwise, it's just a big fat idiot. Like, it's just a free, a free idiot, right? For two. Okay. Two islands. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that's pretty nice. I think they just conceded. Okay. Um, I could definitely bring in Rex Age. That seems like a great hit. Winds don't really care about that too much. Fraley seems good. I almost kind of like Hex Drinker here. Is Carnage Tower better than Sun Titan? I don't know. They have counter spells. I think we get something like this. Yeah, this seems fine. No, he had seven mana, so like you'd have to use four to return it, and then you couldn't replay it. So there's no way to actually increase the storm count for that particular storm.
Turn two, turn one grim seems fine. Apparently they had force of will when we played fracture identity. That's pretty wild. And they're just like, meh. It does happen. What is his hand? It's very weird. Like, it's weird because, like, I... Like, we don't have any green sources. We have no green cards. Like, it's literally just all three islands and all three planes. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five... Oh, wow, that resolved. That's great. Let's get hissing quagarinos. They're like, now I'll get force of will. Manage rain. One, two, three, four, five. Do 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 do. Singing. Where this? Where these swamps come from, man? Just what? They're just they're putting the shield down. six mana I suppose they are not doing that that is unfortunate Four, five, six. yeah that's pretty bad I think it's just best to get it out of their hand right now they have they'll have one card That's fine. They'll never be able to activate Golos, so like, unless they have like something ridiculous, like they might not even be able to take advantage of this. Oh, okay. Um, it's a pretty good hand. One, it's a pretty good hand. Mox, what is even happening right now? They're gonna go like Mox Emerald, Mox Ruby, Mox Pearl, activate Golos. They're gonna be like, oh, cool. So we have seven mana. Sure. Noble Hierarch. That was a pretty good bait. One, two, three, four, five. We also have seven mana next turn and all the colors. Okay. Okay, so they literally just used Golos. Oh, they played a land. And then they used the mana drain mana to activate Urza. Okay, so I think they have nothing right now. And they're just trying to hit off Urza. <laughs> wow, Island into Force of Will is great. Yeah, I'll take three here. So we know they don't have Force of Will and Mana Drain's in the graveyard, so... A-okay. I kind of just want a Primeval Titan here, to be honest with you.
mean, we're not here to not Golos, right? Zorius Signet. This cast Cultivate. So this gets like six cards out of our deck. Um, let's get another black, another white. Put the black in play. Play the white. 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 Did I play a land this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana next turn. Eleven with a land. Twelve. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twelve, actually. So we can actually activate Golos and still play. That's about it. Karn's good. Okay, so we know Forceful Manager gone, right? Like it's just exiled forever. Okay, cool. So black, green, red. One, two. Might as well. Island. A Johnny. A Johnny. Or an artifact or an enchantment. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Man. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure we played a land off of the. One, two. Oh, we can play Wall of Roots first, right? One, two. Let's use the non-white source. Seven, yeah. <laughs> it's a good turn. Why would you do that EOT? That's so weird. Don't do that EOT. <laughs> you gotta main phase that. Like, what are the odds you hit a card you can cast? Like, it's gotta be an instant, specifically, that's not a counter spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven mana that's not creature based. And two creature based mana, so 13. Oh, turnabout. Oh, we're just gonna. Oh, I guess we're minds desiring here. Okay. That's pretty good. That gives you a good amount of mana. <laughs> Big Grizz. You went to two. Okay, so we're probably dead. I'm going to assume we're dead. Yeah. All right. Well, we tried. <laughs> Cast that. Okay. Well, they get four hits. Fucking Christ. Damnation. Shallow Grave. Okay, these are actually pretty good hits. Yeah, I think we're dead to the brain freeze. That's kind of sad. So it's already 15. Yep, cool. Nice, nicely done. Second, storming twice. That seems good. Making sure we don't have anything we can do. Yep. 
cool. Gotta love brain freeze. Fucking twice a draft. This is why I don't have it in my cube. Like, it's just miserable. It's just a fucking completely unfun card to have. Fairly seems good. Better than Elspeth. Okay. What? Why is it over there? Sure. They miss a land drop, but they're going to mystical tutor for. Okay, that's interesting. That's frustrating. One, two, three, four. Why don't you have vigilance? I mean, next time we can play like Fallen Shinobi, just hard cast him. So, yep. So this is like if they just drew a card normally. If they don't hit a land off this, it's kind of wild. Oh. Oh boy. Also, if we just hit a blue source naturally, we just get to fall in Shinobi their face. Discard that Gristle Brand. It's not a blue source. Oh wow, they didn't have force either. Ugh. Yep, that's pretty good. A little late. Not sure what you're going to do. That's not good enough. That guy's also coming down this turn. Oh, Jesus. Thoughts and prayers. There's the island we wanted. Not going to damnation, surprisingly. And now they don't have damnation either. That's pretty good. Um, do you have force of will now? You didn't have it last turn. What? Sure. I've got Dungeon Master's Guide. I've got 12 sided die. I've got Fallen Shinobi. It's attacking you. Getting Gristle Brand. Yes, I do. It didn't, it didn't get Gristle Brand. We know they don't have damnation. Three, four, five. They have six, seven, six mana. Seven if they hit a land. Which isn't that scary. Like, we have lethal on board. Okay, here we go. They just kept, like, the ultimate storm hand. So if they hit, like, a couple lands, they kill us. Three, four, five, six, seven. Minus two is five, sure. Gristle brand in the trash. They can't actually draw cards. Okay. 
I don't know what you get here. Shallow grave. Okay. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have eight mana. They have two mana, so like they obviously block here. We can also get a primeval one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have blue, blue, black, black as well. So we can get this back if they Okay. They have eight cards. Have the freeze in the Oracle? What does that mean? Um, we're actually gonna get back Eternal Witness, because I can get back like a Johnny here. One, three, four. This also puts them to five, which makes both of these guys lethal. Um, <laughs> just put it on top and put this on the bottom. That's fine. Oh, you can sacrifice the Sylvan carry at it as a plant. That's pretty hilarious. Have the freeze in the Oracle. What Oracle? What's he talking about? Oh, Thassa's Oracle. Got it, got it. Sure. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com if you're looking for an awesome subscription service for Magic Online. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel. You can also subscribe eh? Twitch Prime. They're free. It's a great way to help out a content creator, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.